Hey guys, my name is Sammy and welcome to my channel. I just got out of the shower and I was contemplating on doing this video or not, but then I was kind of like, hmm, it's kind of the irony of this video, so I'm just gonna stick with it. So yeah, stick with me through this. So today I'm gonna be talking about a word that a lot of us run from. It's a word that is not really used in a good context. It's uncomfortable. See where I was going with that? Comfortable, uncomfortable. I have no makeup on. Yeah. Anyways, every year I'm giving a word and the last couple of years was the year of no fear. There was the year of normal and last year was the year of unexpected. So this year, I've been given the word uncomfortable. Living comfortably uncomfortable. Now, just to give you some context, I am like the most OCD person ever. I love having my things together. I love organizing. I love like just having my all of my things in one place. But uh, this last year, going into the last year, my life has kind of been scattered everywhere. Um, my apartment is in a storage in California. I have some of my clothes in my boyfriend's place uh, at Newport Beach. Um, I have some things here. I have some clothes, my computer, my camera, um, just anything that I could fit in my car uh, here in Texas. I'm currently sleeping on a blow-up mattress, which is fantastic, actually. Um, uh, and yeah, so needless to say, I've been living a little uncomfortable or just out of my comfort zone. I'm not saying any of this to pity myself. I'm just wanting to be completely 100% honest with you just so you're getting the realness of this video and where I'm basically going with this. Because this is my situation, this is my life, and this is what I've gone through, and this is what I've learned. So I wanna share it with you and be as real and honest as possible. So I've been really scared of this next season of my life, but I feel like God's given me a piece about it. Um, he says that you're gonna get more uncomfortable. It was from a sermon that I heard over Christmas. It was the story of Jesus' birth. And it was told in a way that I had never heard before. And when I heard it, it was just like, whew. it was another one of those like, thank you Jesus moments. Um, and in the sermon, the story was that Mary was uncomfortable in the midst of giving birth to Jesus, the King, this beautiful thing. Jesus was born in a manger, in swaddling clothes, in dirty clothes. He was born in a barn, like, with animals, the king. And that he was no different than any of the other animals. He was a sheep born in a barn in a manger. But he was destined to do amazing things. He was the son of God. This was the gift that Mary was given. And the thing that Mary had delivered, Jesus, is what de in, in return delivered her. So right now, even though my situation is uncomfortable and I know it's going to get more uncomfortable, I know that I do have God's favor and his blessing on my life. And I'm praying that throughout this uncomfortable season of my life, God is going to be birthing something beautiful. I know that he is. And that's the peace that he has given me. Is that I know that through this, I'm going to keep pushing through these birthing pains because I know that he has something good for me and I know that I'm gonna grow through it and I know that something good is gonna come out of it. I'm gonna trust God through it. I'm gonna write it out like Mary. She wrote on a camel while she was pregnant. Can you imagine riding on a camel while you're pregnant? Like, oh my God, I can't even imagine. It just sounds awful and painful, but she wrote it out and she didn't have a place to go. All of the inns, it says in the Bible, the inns, which are hotels, would not take her and Joseph in. So she had nowhere to birth this gift, but the barn that was at the end of the road. 
it that is when it just spoke so much truth to me is that she had no place to go to birth this gift and even though I may not have a place to go I know that God has given me a gift I know he's given you a gift so no matter what situation you're in God has gifted you and he has a purpose for your life so push through it write it out um and listen to him and just pray with him and I know that he's going to get you through it I know it so my prayer is that through the season, I pray that God brings you through whatever circumstance you're going through, whatever situations or whatever trials or tribulations or struggles that you may be facing, finances, um, uh, shelter, or whatever it may be. I pray that God is going to get you through it and he's going to um, deliver something out of you and in return will deliver back to you. So if that's you, have faith and trust God that he's going to get you through these birthing pains. It may be uncomfortable, but choose to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I have five little tips to help you get through this uncomfortable season of your life. This comfortable, uncomfortable, comfortable, un comfortably uncomfortable season of your life. <laughs> Number one, embrace it. Instead of complaining about it and saying, God, why is this happening? Instead, look to God and say, what are you teaching me? What can I learn through this? Number two, laugh about it. Laugh about how ridiculous your situation is. Number three, push through it. Don't give up. Like Mary, she pushed all the way through it. She wrote it out, so you write it out. Number four, be around like-minded people. Uh, get in a connect group. Surround yourself with friends and family, um, people who love on you and uh, pray for you and, and just speak into you. It's, it's um, very important. And number five, recognize your growth. Revel in it. Enjoy it. You are a changed person. You are not the, pers the same person that you were a year ago that you are today. Everything that you've gone through, like I said, grows you. And this struggle has made you so much stronger. So laugh about it. Embrace it. Don't give up, push through it, and ask God. Say, hey, what are you teaching me in this season? And grow through it, and get through it, push through it, and ride through it. Because God has amazing things for you on the other side. So, get comfortable being uncomfortable, and I will see you guys later. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video, whether I have my head in a towel or not. I hope you guys like it. I hope you got something from it. So yes, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a lovely comment. I love reading what you guys have to say and uh, put some questions because I'm going to be doing a Q&A video sometime uh, in the near future. So uh, yeah. Bye you guys. Everything you go through, you grow through.